be doing another fall kind of holiday makeup tutorial and this one is obviously on this look that we have today it's nothing too dramatic it's kind of just like a soft glam which is perfect for any kind of holiday function that you have going on this one isn't too dark or too bold so yeah if you guys want to see how to get this look I use a mixture of high-end and low-end stuff so yeah let's get started Alright, so I'm going to start off with my primer. This one is my fave. This is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Pore Refining Primer. I just really like the texture that it gives my skin. It just makes everything really smooth. It has like anti-aging benefits in there. Fills in your pores. Makes your makeup last long. I mean, the list goes on and on. So... Also, if you're wondering, I put some of this Glam Glow uh, Wet Lip Mask on here. And um, so that's why my lips are a little bit glossy. It's like super hydrating. My lips have been so dry lately, so that's why I have that on. Then for foundation, I'm going to be using this one. This is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion Foundation. So I'm going to be using a brush. I'm not going to be using the sponge that it came with. And I have this in the shade W5.5, which is suntan. So I'm just going to be dabbing this all over my face first and then I'll go in and blend it. Then for my concealer I'm using Maybelline's Fit Me Concealer which is probably my favorite drugstore concealer, I would say. And this is in the shade Sand. Then blend, blend, blend. And I will tell you guys, I have tried all of the Beauty Blender dupes, like the one from Real Techniques I've tried, I've tried the e.l.f. one, I've tried the Sony Kashuk one, I've tried just so many, and none of them will ever compare. Like, I don't know what is in here, what technology this is, but nobody else can get it right. Like, the other ones are like too hard or... Like, just don't have that same bounce, like, bounce, bitch, bounce, bounce. <laughs> you like that little Wayne reference? I know you do. Then I'm setting my under eye with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I just, I don't know, I tried that Cody one or whatever it's called. I don't know, something about it, just I wasn't a huge fan, so I don't really want to use it. So I always like the Laura Mercier. But this brush is perfect for setting the under eye area. This is the Real Techniques Multitask Cheek Brush, but we're not using it on our cheeks, are we? So I'm just setting my concealer with that. All right, so I'm gonna move on to the eyes for right now. It's gonna be really quick and simple for the eyes. Don't worry, and then we'll jump back to the face. So for the eyes, I'm going to first take the Urban Decay Naked Basic Palette and I wanted to use this because it has really kind of like generic colors and this palette isn't like hard to find. It's not like out of stock like a lot of palettes out there. I'm just going to be taking the color Faith, which is this kind of light brown shade right here. Let me just set my eyes real quick. Hold up, hold up. We them boys. How about them cowboys? So really lightly, just putting this in the crease. Then I'm gonna be taking Extra Bitter, which is just a nice like burnt orange. We're gonna pop this in the crease also, concentrating on the outer part of the crease. Then for the lid color, I'm going to be taking a color from ColourPop. This is a new color from them, and it is called Peekaboo, and it is gorgeous, kind of like a 
creamy metallic color. It's just really, really pretty. So I'm gonna be using my finger to apply this just because this is just the easiest way to apply these shadows. So it just has like a nice little pop of shimmer and like a little bit of glitter in there. It's just like really pretty. It just gives you a nice little brightness and twinkle in your eye and it's not supposed to be something perfect or something extravagant. It's just going to kind of make your eyes look really pretty. And um, yeah, so you can go back in and blend wherever you need to blend. Above there. Then moving on to the lower lash line first, I'm going to go in with Faith once again. And just kind of smudge that and run that under there. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of Lethal, which is this dark plum shade, and adding that to the lower lash also. And it's kind of going to give you like an eyeliner effect but without being black. And then just blend that out. Then go ahead and do your mascara or add false lashes. I have eyelash extensions, so I'm not gonna go there. I'm just gonna do mascara on my bottom lashes and this is from Smashbox I don't really like like it that much it just was sitting right in here in front of me so I'm not gonna like recommend it so then I'm gonna do some contouring with my Lorac Pro palette as always I'm using the medium contour shade as you can tell I use it a lot A bunch of you guys told me in like a recent video that my face was like looking like chubbier and how like how did I do it like what did I do mm, it wasn't on purpose I don't know what happened maybe just you know one too many slices of pizza I don't really know but it wasn't on purpose and I did contour in that video so I do not know what happened Now, we're going hard on the contour to try to slim our face. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to look like I didn't contour my face, like, you know. Let's have them say that now. What do you mean? Let me make a chubby face. I <laughs> look. We got contour. We got contour. We don't have cheeks. We don't have chubby cheeks. We just have contour. And then for my highlight, I have a new favorite. This stuff is Gorgy Porgy, and it is called Pro Light Fusion, and this is in number two. It is just, I mean, look at that. Like, this is like the golden sands of Arabia or something. It's so pretty. Like, come on, you guys. Look how pretty. Like, look. Look how pretty we are with the profusion. I'm also just putting that on the inner corner too. And like blending it with that lid color that we used, just kind of working it in there. Oh no, we forgot blush. This is Tarte Sensual, just really natural. Next, I'm gonna line my lips using my Jordana lip liner. This one's in the shade Rock and Roll. And we're gonna rock and roll and put it on.
And then the lip color itself is gonna be this one from Gerard Cosmetics. It is called 1995. And how old were you guys in 1995? Like, honestly, I wanna know. I was born in 1990, so I was turning five that year. Then to finish it off, I'm using this cute little baby setting spray from L'Oreal. All right, so this is the finished look. I really like how it turned out. I think this is the perfect kind of soft glam for the holidays. It's not too dramatic. It's just really kind of glowy and pretty, and the lip is a little bit deeper, but it's not too deep where it's gonna look scary, or sometimes in pictures, dark lips can just look way too harsh. So I think this is a really kind of like happy medium, so. Yeah, very glowy, very pretty. And yeah, I hope you guys like this look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Other than that, I'll see you guys soon. You guys, I love off the shoulder things, but seriously, they drive me insane. Like you don't even understand. Well, actually, you probably do understand because anytime you move your arms, then all of a sudden, you, this isn't off the shoulder. This is like, what even is this? Like, what the is this this pisses me off and then you're like this the whole night like you wave hi to somebody and then all of a sudden you're up here and you want to be down here you know what you can just you know work with it turn it into like a little dance like get it down, get it down. <laughs> but seriously i mean come on they gotta think of something to deal with this issue don't they